Hey everybody, it's Gary the Google Guy here. And today we're going to do something just a little bit different than I usually do with my YouTube channel videos. Instead of an update, I want to show you a tool that is very underutilized and you all have access to it in your Google accounts, whether it's a free Gmail account or a paid business account. And that's a program that's going to be a part of your Google Drive. It's called Google Drawings. If you look in the upper right corner of your screen, you will see your app launcher. And if you go into that, you'll notice that there is no icon like there is for forms or slides and even your docs and sheets for Google Drawings. So a lot of people don't even realize that the program exists. So what I want to show you today is how to utilize Google Drawings and being able to work with images and actually change the format of those images if you need to. So let's go to our new button in the upper left corner of the screen and we're going to go down to where it says more and you'll notice the top program in that next window is Google Drawings. So let's give you a use case scenario. I have a lot of friends that are into crafting and they use the Cricut machines and they're asking me about this SVG format and they've only ever heard of JPEGs or they're just getting exposed to PNG format type images and files. So what's so special about those SVGs and well what if I download a file that's in JPEG can I convert it into PNG? And the answer is yes. And there are plenty of different converters out there, whether it is separate from Google or within your Google drawings here, you can convert those files into other formats. So let's give you an example. I have an image that I downloaded. It's a PNG and I need to get it into SVG format. All right, let's begin. At the top, we can go to the insert menu. I can go to image and I can upload something from my computer or I could even grab it from Google Drive as well as from the web, my photos and so on. I can also pop up my Windows Explorer button and you'll see I've got my file ready to go here that I've downloaded. If you look to the right where it says type, this is a PNG format. So what I want to do is I'm going to grab this file and I can just drag and drop this into my Google Drawings. And yes, I'm going to have a little bit of fun with my image here. I can take this and I can line it up with that upper left corner. And if I go to format options, this will give me a chance to see what the size is or change the size of that image. Now, before you change your size and width, what you may want to do is click lock aspect ratio. Now I can grab this and let's say I want this to be four inches or five inches. I will click on my number that I want and you'll see that my height and my width automatically adjust to that because I'm locking that ratio. So we're good there. So let's get out of this. The next thing that you may want to do is change your page setup. If you go to the file menu, you'll see down at the bottom, you can change your page setup. And if you would like, you can click on the window, go to custom, and you can actually type in what you want. So let's just make ours five by five. We want it in inches and apply. So now we've got a five by five image. You can also grab and give the bottom left corner a scroll up if you'd like. This can make your image a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, depending on what you want to see. The checkered background here lets me know that this is going to be a transparent image. So now that I've got my image here, how do we change this format? And like I said, there's plenty of other format converters out there that you'd either have to download or you upload their images, your images into their programs and whatnot, and then they spit it back to you. But here's what I like to do. I actually like to put them in Google Drawings. I can manipulate them as I want. And then underneath the file menu, you go to download and you'll see that if I go into download, it gives me several different formats that I can convert this to. So remember we said we uploaded this as a PNG, but I could download it as a JPEG. And just like those Cricut users are used to using the SVG format. So if I want to use that in that Cricut design program, I can download it as an SVG. Now, Cricut does allow you to upload certain files into their design space program in other image formats. So you may not need to change that over to the SVG format. But I thought I'd make this video because I get a lot of questions about it and I just wanted to give you another tool for your toolbox. So all you'd need to do is click on that download. 
it'll download to the bottom of your screen and then from there you'll be able to add that SVG format into your design space and you should be ready to roll. Well until we meet again with another tip, trick, or an update, you never know. This is Gary the Google Guy signing off.